the video series na organized by ULA, Ayala Foundation, at Access Health International para sa 162-52 Health Coalition. At ang ating bisita po ngayon ay si Walter Wawai Bakaresa, ang Vice President ng PhilHealth, uh, ng Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. Wawai, magandang hapon sa iyo. Magandang po. Uh, alam mo, Wawai, ngayon ay eh, sikat na sikat ang PhilHealth eh. Can you tell us, how is PhilHealth today? Well, un under the leadership po of uh, our chairman, of course, the Secretary of Health, uh, Secretary Ona, and our president, no, si President uh, Eduardo Banzon, we have a new uh, battle cry. It says, uh, bawat Pilipino membro, bawat membro protectado, kalusugan natin, sigurado. And how is the enrollment level today? Well, I'm very happy to report po that in the poorer segment of our society, um, we are assured of uh, the same membership level as of 2011. In 2011 po, we have enrolled about 10 million of our poor uh, citizens here in the country, half of which are enrolled by the local government units and fifth, half of which is enrolled by uh, DOH under the DSWD's uh, National Household Guidance System. And uh, about 98% of our local government unit sponsors are re-enrolling these uh, families under the sponsor program for 2012. So, well, why did you improve the the universal health care challenges kapag ng uh, access, uh, utilization, at support one? Yeah, un under the new field health, we are transcending the focus, no? Instead of um, focusing only with enrollment, we will now also consider access, uh, utilization rate, support value. Um, because there is actually no no use for enrollment if we don't have um, facilities accredited to serve these uh, enrollees of ours. What do you mean by access, improving in access? Well, we are very fortunate, Paul, because our board and our uh, operations uh, people has uh, come up with what we call as automatic accreditation of facilities. All government facilities are now deemed uh, accredited if they, well, they have to uh, sign some doc legal documents like contracts with us. And we will be seeing uh, more facilities accredited for field health ready to serve our enrollees. So you're saying that you your accreditation will hindi ka mukha noon na napakahirap. Opo. Ngayon, mas madali, mas madali na accreditation. Opo. Paano ito nangyari? Well, we, we realize that, um, for example, for uh, maternity care facilities or uh, MCP facilities, there are only about 450 rural health units or government-owned birthing homes in the current country that are uh, accredited. Mm -hmm. So we want sana for every municipality to have at least one. So we're talking about uh, 1,500 municipalities more or less. And we want each municipality to have one, um, one or more facilities so that our enrollees will have convenience and ease in going into those facilities. For example, to give birth, to have uh, themselves uh, checked with uh, tuberculosis, which are very, very crucial in our uh, uh, Millennium Development Goals. So the outcome is here, your, your outcome here will be kahit na malayong malayong lugar, yung lugar, pwede na siya ma-accredited. Yeah, yes, be before kasi the, the facil accredited facilities are too far between. Huh? Oh. Um, so the, the market does not really want to spend time and money, if they have the money, to go to a facility that's located, which is very, very far away. So what we want to happen is we want to, we want for every corner or for every municipality, at least there's an accredited facility where the market or the constituents can just go there very easily. Our experience before is, ang problema naman is, although there is an accredited field health facilities, Ang utilization naman, mababa ang utilization ng karamihan sa mga LGUs. So, how did you improve on this Opo, we, we recognize that when, when the enrollees or members members of PhilHealth goes to a facility, uh, mm -hmm. accredited facility, they will be asked to fill up some forms and they have to present their IDs and other documents like MDR. So, PhilHealth came up with what we call as the PhilHealth Cares or, and, or the PhilHealth Links. We are we are putting about 500, we have uh, launched actually this uh, program 
of about 530 nurse, nurses deployed nationwide and we want to increase this. And for those facilities that are too small for us to put people there, we are coming up together with the local government units, what we call as the Philhat Link. Basically, the facility and your patient are now linked to our database. So if the patient comes in and forgot to bring his ID or failed to get his ID, as long as he knows his name, he can access his benefits with ease and hassle-free um, enjoyment of his benefits. So sa layman's language, tinatanggalan niyo red tape. Tinatanggalan mo na lang. Karami na red tape. Hirap na hirap yung mga, mga pasyente pagpunta doon. Kala marami dala na papeles. Opo. At kung wala yung papeles, hindi siya bibigyan ng, ng services. Opo. Now, wala na ito. Opo. Na ito Opo. Opo. In fact, I, I saw this patient uh, who came to a hospital and when the nurse asked him, where's your ID? He said, eh, nakalimuta ko ngayon chinelas ko eh, yung ID pa kaya. Daladala ko na yung aking anak. So right now, we are making field health fast, easy, and relevant. So pagdating ng pasyente po ngayon, more or less, he will be assured that he will be able to enjoy his benefits. Uh -oh. What about, ano, what about utilization? How can you make it faster for mga OFWs? For OFWs po, um, we would like to make sure it, two, two, two prong attacks. Number one, we want to come up with partnership with the private sector to make remittance of their premium easy when they're abroad. Another one is we want to make um, payment in the rural areas or even in the urban barangays easy also for, for the families left here in the Philippines. Um, the, 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 what's happening in the market is when the OFW um, sends the money and with the instruction that we have to pay your field health, uh, it is very hard for the family to pay for field health. In the rural areas, uh, it, 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 you have to go to the town center or the city center to pay for field health. What we want to happen is for every municipality to have a payment center. And in the poorer municipalities, I think the only institution there is the local government units. Therefore, all government units must be able to accept membership and payment of the, the OFW. Why don't you make it accessible? We will make it accessible. We are going to flood the market. In the urban areas, but we would like to be present in malls, in every service sari store, in the form of a um, scratch card um, that, uh, that the, the, the OFW families can just uh, buy and then scratch it. Well, if they're really busy, they can also use mobile technology actually to pay their fee. Meron parang kami experiences na mga ba is that yung parang nagreklamo yung mga 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 beneficiaries na napakababa naman ng support mo value ng kanilang binabayaran kung isang wala sila nakikuha pa. How did you improve on this? Yes po. Um, that is where PhilHealth wants to be relevant or more relevant no, in terms of healthcare. Um, we are coming up with what, or we have come up with what we call as the case payment of um, case payment and the no balance billing. Now, for the for the poorer segment of our country, if they go to a government facility and to a ward, they should not be paying a single peso because we have we have a policy with the contracted facility. Uh, all of them are government that bawal na magsingil ng kahit piso sa pasyente because na case pain, uh, naka no balance billing tayo. And, and in the, in the not-so-poor fa uh, families na who opts to, who opts to go to um, a higher quality room, for example, for a private room, meron na po tayong case payment in, where in the, the patient or the family of the patient will know exactly how much that is going to support for his hospital building. Also, I noticed that uh, nakita ko yung mga pricing ninyo, it has improved a lot. Yes po. Um, lalo, na sa, lalo na sa maternal, maternity war, yung maternal, maternal package. Yung paki-explain mga maternal package Yes po. Nyo. Yung maternal package is for um, the rural health units and the birthing facilities and even the primary uh, level hospitals. We are paying a package case or a package rate of 8,500 for a normal spontaneous delivery. Before? Now. Okay. Which includes, of course, the prenatal and postnatal. Aside from that, we are also paying 1,750 for newborn screening of so, the baby. Okay. 
It's all nine um nine seven fifty. So eight eight thousand pala plus one seven fifty. So that's nine seven fifty. Uh -huh. Dati ang binabayad is six thousand diba? Yes, yes po. Difference. Oh. So, so right now we, we expect we expect the the facility to be able to, to be able to increase quality because we're paying more mm -hmm. to increase uh, that they will be able to of course come up with some financial returns on services because it is now very easy and convenient for the members to avail of the of the benefit. This is a big uh, support for the 162 to 52 collision. Oh, oh, oh. We we are also behind and in full support of our Millennium Development Goals. So, what I have from you is that there's a big improvement in the services of, uh, of field health. Now, with this improvement, what are the programs and intervention for field health to upscale? How are we going to upscale this? Well, for one, we are, we are, we are working with coalitions, no? uh, coalitions with the ULA, coalitions with the, with the Ayala group, wherein we want, uh, we want private sector, we want to work with the private sector, we want to work with the local government units. For the local government units, we, we would like them to enroll their, their poor constituents with us. Uh, for those not covered uh, under the NHTS or the National, National House of Targeting System. For the private sector, we would like them to work with us in making sure that uh, the market is flooded with field health. Sabihin, we would like to be in the malls because of the private sector. We would like to tap also the mobile uh, providers, Smart Globe and the Real Sun, where, so that um, our constituents can have access in, I mean, ease and access in, pay, in paying their premiums. So, well, why, in your in your opinion, what is a true field health care? Um, for me, Paul, true universal coverage is this. Bawat Pilipino, membro, bawat membro protektado at kalusuga natin ay sigurado. Ibig sabihin, one, every citizen of this country is assigned to a facility. Konting sakit lang, alam niya kung saan siya pupunta. Pangalawa, ang ating mga, mga kababayan, pag na-hospital po, ay he will not be paying or he will not be paying so much money because insurance will take care of it. That is the spirit of true universal government. So, ang ibig mo sabihin, pag ating na-achieve ito, we will be able to address poverty alleviation yes, the, oh. through, through the image of the, uh, through the programs that you are going to, to roll out. Opo. Wala na pong maging mahirap dahil nagkasakit ang isang uh, anak o ang kanyang asawa. Oh. So, ito po ang ating uh, unang series ng, uh, ng PhilHealth uh, video series at abangan niyo po ang susunod na na interview sa PhilHealth at kung ano yung inyong mga tanong pwede po yung padala sa amin para amin itanong i-invitahin ulit ang ating PhilHealth para sa ating second series.